Okay. Hi, everyone. Um, I lost you guys. I hit the wrong tab. Hold on. All right. <laughs> now I see me again. So I didn't lose you guys. I lost me. Anyway, um, I want to thank everyone who joined Mariam Sardari and me last night with our um, Learning to Receive Messages uh, program. That was really fun and interesting for me, and I appreciate all the support that um, that you all gave us. Um, and if you haven't seen it yet, I'll put the link to it in the comments here so you can watch it because that was like really, really, uh, I learned a lot. So, and it was a lot of fun. Of course, I gave a multi deck spirit card reading last night. So, today, because I had my cards out, I gave myself a quick angel uh, reading with, wait, let's see if I can get that so you can see it there. Angel Prayers, uh, uh, Angel Prayers Oracle Cards by Kyle Gray. If you love working with angels, if you love doing spirit card, oracle card, anything like that, this deck is so good, so good. It's just beautiful. The messages are straightforward. Um, they're like inspirational and practical, you know, absolutely lovely. So I wanted to show you guys um, how I drew my cards, how I did this deck. Um, because it's a, a, a technique. I don't know if anyone else uses it. I came up with this. Um, so if I came up with it, I'm sure other people do the same. But um, so I drew three cards. And um, the three cards here at the top um, in this style of reading, the first card is the situation. The situation that spirit is choosing to address. Uh, and then the second card is the suggested path to resolve the situation. And then the third card is if you acknowledge, take the advice, follow the path, this is what you, the outcome that you're looking for. Classic spirit card reading. So the situation, so I shuffled the cards, tapped them in my heart, shuffled them, and let the three cards that wanted to be read come out. Their first one is spiritual support. Dear angels, I allow you to support me as I grow and become more spiritually aware. Isn't that a beautiful card? And those of you who work with um, geometric sacred geometry, look at that. <laughs> look at that. So beautiful. So the situation. Like sometimes if you're doing a card reading, you can ask in advance, like what advice do you have about this situation? In this case, I opened up, what message do you have for me for this moment in my, in my life? And they said, spiritual support. And I'm like, okay, so is it about giving spiritual report, support, receiving it? And I, I looked at myself, which direction is this about? And they were saying receiving because, you know, obviously I already happily give as much as I can. So it's about receiving as much as I'm giving. And when you receive, it's not just about taking, it's about allowing others to have the, uh, the privilege of being able to give. You know, keep in mind, if I'm always giving, I'm always teaching, I'm always letting everyone else have the energy flowing through me and I never let anyone give back, then, you know, what happens? These people are receiving, they're not learning about the two directions. And when you give as much as you receive, not always to the same person. I may receive from this person, give to that person, who gives to that person, who gives to me. You're creating a mandala. You're also activating the kundalini energy. In, in giving and receiving. Um, so the situation is spiritual support. And what path am I given? It says, peace and harmony. Thank you for surrounding my life in harmonious light. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. It's like the card itself is glowing. So what they're saying is the path, 
for me to go forward with this concept of spiritual support is through a peaceful, harmonious path. Uh, and that sounds like a no-brainer, but really how often do we drive ourselves forward with like beating ourselves, you know, driving ourselves forward as opposed to allowing ourselves harmoniously to let the energy carry us forward. So if I allow peace and harmony to be a primary connection with spiritual support, both giving and receiving, I mean, think about that. Then it's not about tit for tat. It's not about like, am I getting as much as I'm giving? It's like, it's about everything when everything is becomes peaceful and harmonious the perfect giving the perfect receiving presents itself and what is the outcome we get synchronicity thank you angels i trust your well-timed guidance and signs by going forward with spiritual support through harmony and peace we become synchronicities with our angels with everyone just think if we are naturally giving and receiving to each other as the need fits and we are all open to give and receive as is needed with harmony and peace then everything manifests with such grace and agility everything we need ends up just appearing before us as individuals and as a group i love that reading and i hope that every one of you accepts that meeting as one for you as well isn't that beautiful so when i do this kind of reading as you see i spread out last night i was doing a multi-deck reading today i'm doing a single deck reading with an expanded spread so after i pull the three cards i take the top card and put it here for a message that relates to the first card. And I take the bottom card and put it here, which is a message that relates to the outcome. So I'm asking for more guidance on the spiritual support. And the more guidance on that card is honor your feelings. Thank you for supporting me as I honor my emotions. Isn't that beautiful? And look, look, it's an angel with a lotus. And a, looks like a hibiscus in her hair. Her third eye, I'm not sure if you can really see there, her third eye is bright and glowing. So what I'm getting, if I need to, the situation is spiritual support, they're saying, honor my feelings and go forward with peace and harmony that is great advice and then for the synchronicity all of that brings synchronicity manifesting beautifully and what happens if we do that we get spiritual gifts archangel raziel thank you raziel for helping me channel my gifts and talents so we get synchronicity that helps enhance all of our natural gifts and talents. I said, well, then where does this take us? So now we've created a situation where if I honor my feelings and I go forward with peace and harmony, then my spiritual support connection starts developing a natural synchronicity that honors my and our spiritual gifts. And where does this take us? Instead of just asking for spiritual support, we're now in a situation called count your blessings. Thank you universe and angels for the blessings of life. So it transforms a need for spiritual support to um, situation of being so blessed that you have to count them because there's so many blessings and if everything is synchronicities and our spiritual gifts 
are abundant, where does that take us? Take time to breathe. I breathe with ease. All the pressure is off. Everything is flowing naturally and beautifully. The gifts are appearing. Everything is manifesting. We can relax. And where does this is the final outcome here? So we have the situation and the path to where we could be. And then with the situation, what helps us if supports this action to transform the situation to a preferred situation and the wonderful outcome gives us the ability to then relax and breathe because everything perfect is manifesting and we are all in loving support of each other and then we have a final outcome healthy choices Thank you, angels, for guiding me to make healthy choices. Look at that. We go from wondering about spiritual support. Am I giving? Am I receiving? Am I giving enough? Am I getting enough? To we are resplendent with health. Because everything we need, we are connected and it's manifesting. So I just <laughs> love this. And I'll post a photograph of this spread in the uh, comments. Um, so I'm going to do, if any of you want to stick around, thank you. I'm going to do a quick card reading uh, just so you can see the technique. And um, I'm not going to do as much talking. I'm going to do more just doing and while I'm doing this I'm going to do a card reading I'm looking for here we go nope sometimes I'm feeling for cards and I'm like are you the deck I want to read are you the deck I want to read No. Okay, we're going to go with our wonderful Doreen Virtue. I know she's gotten a little wacky in her uh, later time, but once upon a time she was just such a pure, pure card reader. How do you cleanse the deck? So this is great. Whenever I buy a new deck, um, I'll take the deck and I'll tap it to my heart. I'll open the deck, I'll take each card individually and knock it to my heart, okay? You can knock it to your physical heart, your heart chakra, you know, just knock it to your heart and energetically connect. So you tap each card individually. You can look at them and impress with them and tap it or you can just like, and then I will knock the whole card to my deck. This allows the deck to connect with me. Uh, because, you know, a lot of people, they're like, oh, don't touch my cards. I don't want your energy in my cards. But then you go to people like me, um, you know, where we're teaching, and I'll show up in a classroom, you know, outside of coronavirus quarantine time. I'll show up in a classroom with a big box full of cards, and everyone grabs a deck, and they're playing with it. You know, afterwards, these cards have everyone's energy. Oh, no. All you do is, because I've already imprinted each of these cards and decks with me, I just take the deck and connect heart to heart, and all energy that is not me falls away from it. So that's how I cleanse my deck. That's how I was taught by uh, Reverend uh, Deborah Oleski when she taught me card playing. And she's the most powerful angel connector I know. So I'll go with what she says. When we shuffle, we're not, um, you know, we're not going to play poker here. What we're doing is shuffling energy in. And I'm like, before I started reading, before I got you on, I grounded and I opened up for receiving. So I'm flowing with divine energy. And now I'm like, what is a good message 
for everyone here. And then some people will just spread the cards all over and pick. Some people will just keep shuffling until, you know, one card will pop out. Um, or one card will just like, you know, remain sticking up like this one here. Uh, and they're like, okay, if one card's sticking up, that's the one that wants to go. Uh, you know, there's so many ways of doing this. If a card does pop out, I know that's a card, but what I usually do is I shuffle and then I either close my eyes or I space them out, but I don't look at the cards and I let my fingers just draw for me. I have no idea what I pulled, but my finger is in the cards connected energetically. So the situation. Simplify your life. Eliminate clutter from your home, work life, and balance of flow, the flow of activities. Well, if you look at my room here, you can see I need to simplify a little bit. And actually, it's so funny because tomorrow I am boxing up all the things that I don't need through the summer, and I'm taking them, uh, putting them into the storage area. So for me, that's perfect advice. And um, I think for a lot of us, we get so used to having things around or habits in our life or uh, programming that we think we need to have that we maybe don't. Um, certainly when I teach uh, like mediumship skills or energy healing skills, you know, any of these skills, when we first teach, you go through certain ceremonies and techniques and processing, but after you've been doing it for a while, you don't need to go through all that every time because it automatically falls into place. So with this card, so beautiful. Look at what in your life could be uh, simplified and released. Decluttering can be of the mind, the body, the spirit, your environment. It can be 3D, it can be relationships, it can be, you know, hardcore expectations of self, which in the last reading we just realized. So that's the situation. What path are we recommended to take? It says, yes, your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. <laughs> I love this. So if you're wondering, how should I simplify my life? In what way? And you're like, oh, there's a million things. Now I'm overwhelmed. Well, it could be that what you need to simplify is your process of making demands of yourself. But um, what they're saying is let yourself just get very quiet and look at, like, the one thing. Let it rise up and present itself just as the cards present into my hand and go for it. Go for it. Don't self-doubt. Don't second guess. Trust your core judgment. And where does this take you? Oh my God, this is beautiful. The outcome. If you start simplifying things, releasing that which does not serve and trusting your inner guidance, your gut instinct, you will find yourself to a place of protection. You, your loved ones, and your possessions are safe and protected by heaven. Simplify your life. Eliminate clutter. And then all that remains, trust your inner guidance, trust your core being. And then what you have left is guaranteed protected. Some of you have a lot to think on with that. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to take the top card here. And this will be a message about our first card, the situation. And the bottom card, put it here, this will be a message about the outcome. And the card... <laughs> I love this. You guys saw me shuffling. So you know this is like the real deal. When we're saying simplify your life, you're like, hmm, 
Okay. Uh, any reason why? Because they want you to set your sights higher. Increase your standards. Expect more of yourself. Don't settle. Set your sights higher. That is why you need to simplify your life. You need to release whatever is holding you back so that you can say yes to your intuition. And then you are fully protected and cared for and nurtured. Because you, my dear, in one way, shape, or form, you know you're settling. You know that you are clinging to something that does not serve for your best, most highest well-being and for your state of total trust and protection. And what card do we have about the outcome? <laughs> Ready, set, go. Now is the perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desire. So listen to this. They're saying set your sights higher by releasing that which does not serve. Trust yourself. You will be protected so that you can go. You can go. Now is the perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desire. Oh, my God. I love this. I love it. So now we do a little more shuffling. Da, 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 da. Okay, this one popped up. So this will go here. This will go here. Now, sometimes people will keep taking the top card for here and the bottom card for here. That's okay. Some people, actually, when they draw the cards, they shuffle and then they only take from the top. It's whatever way you're comfortable with, your guides will notice that the cards where you need them. Okay? So, if you simplify your life, you set your sights higher, it turns simplify your life into you are in a state of divine magic. Extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. Isn't that beautiful? So by following this path and honoring set yourself higher is the reason you need to simplify your life. You transform this card, simplify your life into this card, divine magic. I'll take that one. Extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. And all you need to get that is eliminate clutter from your home and your work life to balance the flow of activities and trust your intuition. Nice. So that takes us to where we are protected and we're ready to embrace our heart desire. And then it says, wait, don't rush into action right now. Bide your time for better results. Which, you know, at first glance, you're like, what? But think about it. Think about it. There when our life is cluttered, we're balancing and juggling so much. But they're saying set your sights higher. You're protected. Now is the perfect time to embrace your heart's content. And then don't rush through it. Because you are experiencing divine magic. Miracles are coming to you. So instead of going to a very active, oh my God, I got to make things happen state, you're going to a state where you receive. Where everything you want and need manifests for you. This is very powerful. Very, very powerful. And the outcome of all of this, a new dawn. The worst is behind you. Positive new experiences are on the horizon. A new dawn. Here you go. So this is a single card spirit reading, you know, or a single deck spirit card reading. 
isn't this amazing so powerful so powerful I will also photograph this and I'll put it in the comments and this is why like those of you who were with me last night and I was saying if I do a multi deck reading it can actually go like I've had some where we fill my living room carpet like we have to forget the table we move everything to the carpet and we end up with like literally over a hundred cards no No, like literally over 50 60 cards on the layout but if you don't have like a whole bunch of decks and you don't want to spend three hours doing that this is a wonderful single card deck reading the situation the path to get to the desired outcome motivation for the situation and what transforms the situation to better situation the outcome and then what the outcome sets you up to do so that you can get into a place that brings you to the wonderful the wonderful future waiting for you <laughs> okay and um, hold on let me photograph this now because I want to show you guys what I do at the end and um, I'll post this in the comments and then I take the cards I thank them you know what talk to your cards always thank them thank you for joining me thank you thank you thank you and you know if these cards are against my heart and I'm feeling love flowing through me to the cards I'll just hold them so long as that energy is flowing. I might take a moment. That's okay. It feels good. And then I tap out the energy and I let it connect heart to heart with me as we are. Nice. And then I'll probably shuffle a little bit just to make sure that those cards don't automatically pop up the next time I go to draw a random card and just to get all the energy. Oh, this one wanted to say hello. Again, set your sights higher. <laughs> it's a good reminder to us. So, um, so that's what I mean about cards popping out. And what did we get? Yes and protection. So, you know what? They really want us to see these cards. They really want us to see this message set your height sights higher trust yourself and you will be protected okay thank you guys thank you <laughs> oh you guys are awesome too thank you have a wonderful day i adore you um please join me here saturday 11 a.m you know we'll be working on our crown chakra this week and I'll put a link to um, at 3 p.m. Eastern time. I'm, it'll be on Zoom, so you have to buy a ticket, but they're only $20. I will be channeling the Akashic Record librarians. They want to, they, they got stuff to say. They got lots to say. So thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful day. Uh, I have to take off my pretty velvet shirt and put on my shirt again to go work in the yard. This is the last moment today I'm going to be looking presentable. From here on out, I'll be covered with dirt and sweat and leaf mold. So love you all. Bye.